Um, oh, Ferrari TDF. Do not see many of those on the road, let alone around here. So that was a TDF just went past us. Amazing. Good morning guys, welcome back to Just Pure Cars. You join me in the Type R on a very, very chilly morning today in the UK. Um, I thought I'd take the car out for a quick drive. I've kind of neglected it a little bit over the last couple of weeks. Haven't used it. Went to use it the other day and the battery was flat. So I uh, had to get a new battery yesterday, but it's now fitted and it is working perfectly. And I thought I'd better take it out for a drive to make sure that doesn't happen again uh, and show the car a little bit of love. Whilst we're out having a little drive around, I thought I'd update you on a little bit of uh, hypercar news. Some really exciting stuff going on in the, in the world of hypercars right now. I'm sure you're aware of the uh, Mercedes Project One hypercar that has been uh, obviously rumoured for some time. Mercedes then confirmed that the project was happening. Um, and you know we are now starting to see potential customers actually getting information about this car which is really exciting um, so if you follow a chap called Wapham on uh, Instagram you will know he has got an amazing car collection already including a P1 uh, a bunch of Ferraris um, the 918 I mean, the list goes on. And he also has his own signature colour of uh, orange, or orange as he calls it. Uh, but his cars are epic. And he posted on Instagram yesterday, or two days ago, um, a spoiler where basically a customer brochure arrived in the post to him from Mercedes. Um, here's a screen grab here. Um, and it has got some top level details of the car, I guess, for him, as I'm assuming he's got his name down on the list to purchase one. Now, it doesn't give you any um, information away. There's that picture, and then he posted another picture of the drivetrain, which you can see here. Um, and that's it. There's no details of price or final spec or anything. Um, Mercedes have since released you know, a, an updated image of the, uh, well, the first official image of the back of the car. It's like a silhouette, really. And it shows it's going to have a roof, a roof um, scope, and it's going to have... Um, basically no rear window to speak of at all but it's gonna be epic looking um, and I think it's got a bit of retroness about it from what it looks like um, from that picture but based on the spec that um, we are hearing about I mean they have confirmed Mercedes have confirmed it is gonna have the Formula One engine the engine from Lewis Hamilton's car and Nico Rosberg's car from the 2016 season it's gonna have an actual Formula One engine in it. So, you know, it's an AMG car, so there's no, but there's no V12 or V8 in this one. This is gonna be a 1.6 litre V6, which they're claiming is gonna hit around a thousand brake horsepower. Now, that's not official figures, but what they are saying is they're working towards a one-to-one -one ratio. So, you know, if you've got a thousand kilogram car, then you're talking a thousand brake horsepower. That is gonna be phenomenal speed. <laughs> Um, Mercedes have stated that it is the exact engine from the Formula 1 team but what they're having to do is rework it so like the idle and things are suitable for the road because this is going to be a road only car they're not making track versions of this this is this is a road going car um, so Formula 1 engine idles at about 4000 rpm this thing they're working around 1200 rpm so they are going to make some differences on the uh, on the idle and the gearing um, but it's set to be one of the most efficient engines out there. Um, Mercedes actually claim it is the most efficient combustion engine you can get. Um, obviously, coupled with their electric drivetrain, it's gonna have an all uh, four, an all new four wheel drive system. Um, and they're gonna take their learnings from that um, SLR, electric SLR um, series that they made, uh, where they had four wheel, torque, four wheel torque vectoring from the motors on each wheel. They're gonna take all their learnings from that, all the learnings from the black series um, that they've made, and they're gonna put it into this to make sure it is the most um, powerful, but also efficient and um, endurance led engine that you'll expect from a Formula One car. Um, so, it's gonna be epic. I cannot wait to see what this looks like. And the fact that they are talking to customers about it already is mega exciting. So I think they've already confirmed we're gonna see it officially at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September. So we've got to wait till September to see you know, the official unveiling, but I have no doubt we're gonna start seeing spy shots and things coming through very, very soon. 
apparently the exterior styling is locked just working on the interior the engine is uh, up there test facility is being is being run on the rig they I think, started the first one last year apparently so uh, yeah exciting times I think it's gonna be two to three hundred of these things around um, and obviously they want it to be sold out as soon as possible but yeah I cannot wait to hear more about that um, next up so supercar news we all know McLaren's working on the P14, which is the successor to the 650S. The rumored name is going to be the 720S. Uh, we've seen spy shots, um, controversial um, thoughts around the styling, but nothing have been, you know, they've been renders and stuff, but nothing official until this morning when, again, Wapham has obviously been invited along to a customer unveiling and he is a, he's taken a shot of what looks to be the final production car. Now he admits it's not the best shot in the world, but it is um, it is a shot of the final production car, nonetheless, in Volcano Orange. Um, so his kind of color, um, and it's not the best angle, but you can see the radical styling changes that they're making to this car versus 650S. Now looking at the comments on his Instagram feed, it has got real mixed reviews. Some people are saying they're really excited to see what it's going to look like, you know, from a better angle. Others are saying it looks ugly as sin. I'm going to sit on the fence a little bit from the spy shots and this one. Uh, I don't think I like it as much as the 650S. I think the 650S and the 675 LT are some of the most beautiful looking cars in the world right now. And this weird front end that they seem to be going for with the headlights, I'm not a big fan of. But, like I said, I haven't seen the, the final um, car in the flesh or from a decent angle. So I'm, I'm going to be open-minded. And by the time I get this video out, there might have even been other more better shots uh, taken. But exciting news that that is obviously now being shown to customers and that means we will, we're going to be seeing it you know very very soon no doubt who knows it'll probably be unveiled at geneva motor show i'd, I'd assume yeah uh, what we have learned from the uh, the spy shots that have been out there for the p14 um there was a chap um who managed to get some photos and apparently there someone's done some analysis on the uh, registration plate that was on that spike on that um project car and the insurance database states it's going to have a 3.8 engine so it's gonna have the same power output or same engine size as the previous range but you can guarantee it's gonna be completely reworked new BHP 600 and so brake horsepower no doubt um, the McLaren have already released an image of the new carbon tub um, oh Ferrari TDF do not see many of those on the road let alone around here so that was a TDF just went past us amazing Anyway, um, yes, so the new carbon tub for the um, Super Sport Series, you know, you can see it's going to be lighter, it's going to be probably easier to get in and out of um, than the current uh, current series. But yeah, so that it's, it's, it's great that that is now um, coming through and I can't wait to see what the final version of that looks like. Okay, and the, the final thing I wanted to talk about was uh, I wanted to unveil the winner of my competition from my... Um, celebration of 100 subscribers if you saw the video for the five things I hear about my type R you saw that all you had to do was to be a subscriber like comment and share that video and I've let it run for a few weeks just to let the views come up and, uh, and get, let enough people enter and I can now happily announce that the winner is Nick Murray so well done Nick congratulations to you uh, picture at random I will be hitting you up directly to arrange how we um, get your prize to you of your Amazon vouchers. Um, so yeah, look out for an email or a DM from me. Right. Uh, and with that, that is all I wanted to cover. I wanna hear all your comments and thoughts around the Mercedes Project One. Uh, are you excited about it? What predictions have you seen out there that I haven't already mentioned? Again, let me know what you think about the um, McLaren P14 or 720S. Uh, what, you know, this new styling they go for. Are you a fan, are you not? Um, do you know somebody that's seen it? Let me know, comment below. And as always, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. And I will hope to see you again very soon for more videos in the future. All right, cheers guys. See you later.